To understand the drama around Red Bull vs Black Lives Matter, which means that the CEO Dietrich Mateschitz and yeah, this is how you pronounce it correctly, fired two of his executives who wanted more diversity, which means in this context hiring uh, by other properties of a person than married, such as ethnicity or religion. This is kind of unheard in bigger companies and the reason might be that even the European companies with sizable impact in the economy are somewhat American dominated or American in the first place. But Red Bull is not. Red Bull is in the firm hand of Mateschitz and Mateschitz is Austria. I want to repeat that. The head of Red Bull is Austrian and in his heads there are Austrian values and Austrian point of views. For us the world looks differently, especially the race conflict in America looks from our perspective different than to Americans. Naturally. It's a bit like observing someone in a burning house. For him the situation looks different than to the guy outside and if they are not really friends then the situation looks different again. We could go into a lot of different worldviews but the important thing today is the history of slavery. We had slaves too in Roman times and we called them well slaves. Later we still used slavery. It came with many faces but one was the Leibeigenschaft which the dictionary simply translates with serfdom but the word by word translation would mean something alike of honor of the body which means that you are not really the owner of your own body, the noble was. You were just the owner of your soul, but nothing more. But we never imported slaves. You see, the nobles simply enslaved the people who were already there. So we are all descendants of this enslaved people. And this is important. Pretty much every Austrian is the descendant of a slave in some way, shape or form. And it is very likely that we have slave owner blood in our veins too. We all look back and say, well, this system sucked because it sucked. But there is no way whatsoever to connect this in one way with race. It's just not possible. And we too have people of color in our midst. But each and every one of them came either because he wanted or because his ancestors wanted to come over here. You can argue that they were lured uh, with a lot of false promises, but ultimately it was their decision to came and it is their decision to not leave. So all these American ideas of it's slavery that led to ghettos and people of color not succeed is it's just invalid here in Central Europe. Sorry, that's a fact. You can blame it on simple racism, that's right, but true systemic racism that is claimed in the United States is really hard to argue over here. What we see is that those born in a rich family or in a family with connections, which is way more important in a more socialistic setup like in Austria than it is in America, will fare better. And I tell you what, companies are greedy over here too and nobody uh, sends an employer away who provides you with what you want to a good price because of the color of its skin. Money is for the company always more important than anything else and Mateschitz is exactly that kind of person. He's not the most moral person on earth and he does what everyone in his uh, position wants. He wants to make more money. And Austria is a small place, so I want to tell you a bit of a story. I know someone who has a relative who met Mateschitz at a party. The funny thing is he did not know that he was him. And so he talked to him like to the next guy at the party. But it was nothing super fancy, otherwise he wouldn't be there in the first place. And so they talked about, about car racing, Formula One in particular. So Mateschitz said after some time, so you really are into this stuff. You really love Formula One like I do. And you really don't know who I am? And the guy said then, yeah, dude, I mean, <laughs> looks like it. So he found himself with Slater in some VIP launch or something like that. And there he talked to some racers. I mean, he was in heaven. Mateschitz is a strange guy, especially someone who is as rich as he is. And I think he is very down to earth. And I think that he actively looks for anchors in reality. And I have the feeling that, that he really despises those humanity college educated unconnected ivory tower CEO guys that he has to employ to make his company run. Matish it seems from what I heard pretty down to earth connected to the rest of society Austrian society in particular so he, it, it looks like he sees the world pretty much like middle-class Austrians see it and we see 
most things that America say about race could be remedied if you just look across your stupid borders and take a look where it looks everywhere else. Slavery was everywhere and surprise in some places of the world. People still get sold and bought. This should be fought, but, but it isn't. And BLM is just a divisive thing. It, it's to divide people, not unite them. And they don't use a weakness in American culture or setup, as many commentators in America say. They use a weakness in the American view of, of, of yourselves. The view is absurdly disconnected from history of the world, which is not a very clever approach since you are the melting point of the world. Most of the people who were sold into slavery to America would have been sold into slavery into other parts of the world. The European traders used existing infrastructure. Most other places in the world would have castrated the man while the woman would have been raped in between hard work and the children would have been killed over and over again. There is a reason that places that imported millions of Af uh, African slaves, such as the Middle East, does not have an African uh, population. In other words, slavery is a terrible thing, but there's always an sadistic asshat that makes hell even worse. Mateschitz wants to make money. And with that said, I'm absolutely sure that he orders his hiring staff to get the best guy. And those guys are not all white. You can see this in hiring of people in his sport and his company. And this is the right approach. We in Austria are slow in adapting things. We are still running with the uh, idea that combating racism is best done by creating a colorblind society, like Americans said, the American left said in the 90s. Germany, for example, is way closer to the late left-wing American sentiment. Mateschitz is not a racist. He owns a company that is vastly successful because they hire the best. I respect that and I respect Mateschitz for not caving in. That's it. I gotta go. I have to buy some Red Bull. I don't know what I do with this afterwards. I bought it, but it's always a good idea to argue with your wallet. And I have some Games Workshop money to spare after all. So thanks for listening and have a wonderful day.